Jeff Howard here at KaiBunny.com and FixMyKite.com. We're going to show you one of the questions we have. People call us up and ask us, how should I roll up my kite? How should I put this thing away in the bag and take care of it? Well, we've got the ozone 4 meter here. It's a little kite. I'm going to try to show you some little tips that will help you out. Now, the most important thing is keeping that leading edge rolled up like a, a tape roll, basically. And that keeps the bladder internally from wanting to twist. So I'm going to show you a little bit. So basically, turn your kite over into the wind. Most kites have a releasable valve here. So here on the uh, catalyst, we have a, it's a big screw valve. Once we let the kite out, most of all the air comes out. Now, one of the things you want to do, get on your kite and smash your struts down and get all the air that, so it all runs up to the nose of the leading edge of the kite. Go into your next ones. And I know this is a small kite and everybody's going, that looks easy. Well, just follow the same process on your bigger kite and you'll have it down. Smash out the air. Now, when it comes to rolling up your kite, a lot of people will roll from one end to the center. And you're welcome to do that. That is not a problem. But it's most important, as you can see this leading edge, laying it down nice and flat. What that does internally here is that bladder lays flat inside of the casing. And when I, when I roll it up, I'm going to roll and follow up this leading edge. Fold it over. Start your rolling. Now, I'm not worried about that backside. In most cases, everything will just follow. So roll like a roll of tape right up to the center. And you can see that, you probably get the factor of understanding. It's like a roll of tape right here. And the internal bladder inside of here is laying perfectly flat. Instead of rolling sideways like this, as you see, it can cause a twist into that leading edge. And that, over time, can create some problems inside of some of the bigger kites. Not as often as some of the smaller ones, but in the normal size, 10 and upsize kites, you can get a bladder twist in there, and that can cause a problem. So, again, when you roll up, usually your trailing edge will come out. It'll just start to follow. Roll right up the leading edge. On the other side, Put you a little weight here, put your board on here, fins up of course, go to the other side, fold it in, and begin rolling right up that leading edge. You can see I'm rolling it like a little roll of tape. Once that is together, you can keep all of your leading edges, and in most cases because you rolled right up the front, if you have a batten, they're both at the same distance. Fold up your kite the least amount that you have to to get it into the bag. And again, I'll repeat that. The least amount of folding as possible is the best. It causes cracking or wear and tear of your kite. Unless you're packing to go on a big trip, don't pack them down really, really tight every single time. It's a lot better to leave it as loose as possible, shove it into the bag, and again, if there's sand inside of here, you want to make sure you try to shake off as much sand as you can, as you can tell. Sand would be the worst wear and tear in here. Up against this hard Dacron, sand up in here will wear out the cell. So if you're looking at your cell and you see little tiny pinholes, that's what that is from, the wear and tear of the soft material on the Dacron or having sand in between here. Now, one of my most favorite ways of rolling up the kite, I'm going to show you real quick, is what I call the taco method. And the big thing is, is most kites nowadays are one pump systems to them. So the air will go, the air will go out of the struts once you release the clamps. And it all, it all wants to go to the center. So take your kite, lay it over in a taco formation, wingtip to wingtip. Now I don't have to push the air out of my struts yet because as I get to them, they will push the air out and it goes all the way up to the leading edge. So match them up. Fold it up, start a good roll, matching your leading edges, and rolling again right along that leading edge to keep that bladder flat and straight. And if I add air, everything right now is ending. Smash it out, and fold it up. You can repeat this for any of the inflatable kites. This is the best way to take care of your gear. Keeping them clean, take care of them, and roll them up correctly. If you get into packing for uh, longer trips, you can smash them down a little bit. But just remember, let them out of that bag after you get there. Let the kites expand and relax so that material relax and won't get any stretch spots. That's Jeff Howard here at KiteBoarding.com. Keep your gear in good, in, uh, in, in good keeping, and you'll be riding it for many years to come.